side, they have a lot of single target CC when you think about Brawn Passive, Ash Arrow, the Ivern Q, all sorts of tools to be able to lock down a single target. I will also say that their composition loves it when the enemy runs into them. Wade and Yike at one, 150 to 200 ahead of their opponents. Yike's now pathing down towards the bot side. Could look for a dive on the Antonio, who's about a quarter of the way to that level six. And this is the play I was talking about. As soon as you show up towards that top side, they look for the dive, and now you're going to start to fall behind. Ignar's making his way down here, but not going to be there too quickly. The wave arriving means that Mickey can't hit a Winter's Bite. Now gets the first stack of those concussive blows, staggering blows, in fact as uh, they'll lose a plate. But with the minion wave dying off, the Antonio should be fine underneath the turret for now. He's completely fine. Krob secured, resets come through. Notice Ignar's now made his way back to bot, which makes the dive much harder, the level six as well. Yeah, I mean, oh, Hans. Caps Crash. in the mid lane, lightning crash coming out. Caps does still have the flash to try and avoid this, puts down the mom to try and call for a little bit of hey, Jackie's flash away, the level up! Just in time there for Jackie's gets him over to level seven. Both the mid laners flashless now as Yike comes to help out caps. True shot barrage going wide. That was a tense moment. Now the Antonio looking for a fight. Mickey stunned into the wall, has the flash, puts the ignite down onto the Antonio who flashes away, as does Ignar. There's the first bit of CC and Ignar is gonna pay for Antonio's dive in with his life and the Antonio might be soon to follow. G2 find that first kill and the first kill of the game. I just want to confirm, the Antonio picked that fight, right? Yep. He mm -hmm. was like, we're going in. Yeah, that was not the best of decisions, and now he's all on his lonesome in this bottom side. I know he has to his verdict. Out. Is it enough? Can he helicopter his way out of this one? The answer is an emphatic no. G For the moment, no fighting occurring. Only those two kills in the bottom lane for G2. The Drake secured as well by Yike, Giant X. And then they secure the objective. So. Yep, it's just Camo there hitting onto Ignar. TP in as Giant X are looking to dive at Cassante. Now, he does have the Crossfire Gauntlet and the Redemption. And even with the Nature's Grasp, I'm not sure he dies here. Gets the knockback. Ignar has to jump away. Yeah, okay, Giant X, this was bloody awful. This was diabolical. Giant X went for the dive, and all they're going to do is die. Cass has so much free time in the top lane. The Lightning Crash coming out. Magnus Sword from Ignar as well, but Broken Blade has already found two out of the fight. They're going to make it three. It's a disaster for Giant X and G2 happily eat up their rewards. Ignar trying to get away, but Hans Summer's here on the chase. Ignar has a flash, but I don't think he escapes from that. 6 nil for G2. It's a mid-game macro is at a very high level, and so they'll punish you for your poor lane assignments, and they're going to prove that right now by securing Makes the sense to be quite aggressive uh, as the support G2 taking all the tier ones there's a drake for them if they want it infernal or did g2 g2 let it go there's tp behind daisy coming out as well as g2 want to take the fight keepers verdict hits onto yike forces him away mickey puts down the unbreakable redemption coming out as well as broken blade dives onto the back line the drake secured by juhan huns trying to force jackies away and manages to do so cats now opening up and the dive comes back in from the antonio but he'll fall first Perhaps he's got one ward behind him and i don't think jackie's knows as you can see, the Antonio <laughs> struggling in terms of gold. Hans Summer has the redemption, the TP coming in as well by Giant X, but the Antonio, I'm sorry, mate. I'm not sure this is where you want to be today. The rest of his team are trying to collapse, but there's two tanks on their way, and immediately they decide not to join him in dying. There's two quick kills to G2. Unfortunately, a symptom of a pervasive problem that we've continued to see of Giant X is Jackie's getting caught in a sideline. It's happened multiple times in summer splits, an issue that we were hoping coming into season finals he was able to rectify, but when he finds himself at a deficit, he tries his best to get those resources, to funnel that farm back into himself, but he leaves himself exposed. And G2's a team that will not allow that to go unpunished. They find themselves a kill. They punish the TP from the Antonio. They get another tower. They're going to try and convert it into another one. And I mean, this game was already out of control, but it's going from bad to worse as G2 extend to a 10k goal. Jack is going to TP in. All across the wall. Hans Summit still on the bound right now. They jump in with the root call of immediately. They dive onto Juhan. He's pulled back. And in the middle of position, no smite for Giant X. Keeper's verdict only hits onto the support. Patrick kept at bay by Daisy. Magnus Storm forward. Maybe Broken Blade with fall, but the trigger C will keep him alive for just a second. Jackie's diving in, trying to take down Hans Summer. He flashes and is met with an arrow to the base. The Antonio chased out by Caps. Patrick, the last man standing. Fight. 
and they have all the characters to catch. They catch out the enemy jungle, making them... They have a 14,000 gold lead, but no melee minions, so they can't step any closer to this tower yet. It's the small things. You've got to find those tiny bits of hope for Giant X, but the next wave is now about to arrive. Control ward in the bush as Giant X decide. It seems to not engage as G2 push up towards that turret range. The inhibitor, the next target, champions. And Antonio brings out the poppy copter, knocks back two, they'll go for Yike. The Magnus Storm engages to nature's grasp and Yike will fall first. TP behind by Broken Blade, but the rest of G2 are a mile away. Can Broken Blade survive for a year? Yes, he can. Of course he can. He's Cassante. What am I talking about? He could survive on the fountain for all it's worth right now. Giant X go one for one in the trade in the end. G2 can still push forward. Hunt Summer, no flash. Patrick trying to put the damage down across the side, but can't find too much more. TP flank coming in from the Antonio. The inhibitor tower is going to be down before he can arrive to the battle. He'll look for Caps, he'll knock him back. Broken Blade goes in. Lightning crash from Jackies. Is it enough? The Antonio already down. Juhan, sure to follow him. It's a quick trip to an early grave for Giant X. And with the ammo connecting, it might be all done for G2. Only two Nexus towers stand in their way. Jackies and Igna. It would be a Herculean performance to pull this one off, but so far you'd be more like Sisyphus. Constantly trying to make the plays, but that boulder keeps rolling back down in your face. G2 will close it out. Jackie's and Ignar forced back to the fountain. <laughs> Jackie doesn't even find solace there. 18 kills to two, 26 minutes on the clock, 17,000 gold ahead. I think G2 may be angry today.